In today's video, we are going to be putting brand, two brand new shock towers on the Arma Vortex. Hello everyone, my name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. If you're new to the channel, welcome. You'll see us doing all the stuff on the channel from the bashing, crawling, drifting, racing, all that kind of stuff. Also a whole bunch of how-to videos, product reviews. And if you watched a recent video that we had from the Arma Vortex, took it to the skate park, super bad luck, First jump, I got nervous, thought I saw a kid or something coming, hit the brake, truck ends up going over the wall, big crash, brakes both shock towers. If you check this out, I literally broke both the front and rear shock towers. And then this is what I did. This is literally what I did. I, I hacked this out with a pair of ed, uh, side cutters so that I could mount the shock way down here instead of up here where it's supposed to be. And then on the front, I literally just zip tied the shock to the body mount. Also that I could just bash on. So I'll put a link to that video up here. It actually ended up being quite fun. It turns out maybe shocks are overrated. Maybe, maybe having proper shock mounts is, is not quite 100% necessary when you're flying through the air, as it turns out. Doesn't matter as much um but you knew we need to fix that so we need to fix this and so i got the factory arma parts ara320634 it is front and rear come in one bag rather simple to swap out and so we're going to go through that process today and get this thing back up to 100 percent And just like that, folks, we are back up to one running, completely fixed vortex. Front shock tower is on, rear shock tower, everything's all mounted back up. Now, I'm not actually going to show you in the video what I've recorded as to how to put all this back together. Honestly, just to save you time, there's nothing special about how the front went together except for exactly how I showed you it coming apart. It was all just the reverse of the same steps going together. On the rear, I would say it's really your choice whether or not you remove the motor assembly. Prying the uh, shock tower out from underneath the body, the mount clip here was difficult. Getting it back in was actually even more difficult without having removed this. Uh, if you're comfortable with just removing this whole motor assembly, right, you remove the red, the, the red spacer with the one screw down here on the bottom of the chassis pull the drive shaft, pull these two tabs up and this whole assembly comes forward, it would make that drastically easier compared to how I showed you doing it. I had some prying and everything to shove this back in in place and get it strong. So anyway, something to consider there is doing that different than what I showed you, but otherwise everything came went right back on exactly as it came off. And now with that, I have one running and driving Arma Vortex again without a bodged 
up shock in the right wrong spots and stuff like that so i hope this was useful part numbers for the shock towers will be down in the video description below uh hey i always appreciate your feedback was this helpful for you please let me know i always like it I like to hear that feedback this what we showed here today should be the same for shock tower replacement on basically any of the arma 3s lineup maybe a couple tweaks here and there because the body mounts are different but except for the body mount pieces the shock towers themselves the process for changing them should be the same so if you have any questions feel free to reach out down in the comments below happy to help out along the way thank you for watching always appreciate your support we'll talk to you later goodbye